right, welcome back to Long Island's number one pro wrestling broadcast. Monty DeFaro seen here out of Rockstar Studios in Huntington, New York, only on Village Connection Radio. At the board, the return of the iconic <laughs> Stephen Miller. Stephen, how are you, my Hey-o, friend? Oh, my Hey-o. friends, it's great to be back here with the only... Oh, yeah. Forget about the number one. This is the only wrestling show. They're all pretenders, except for you guys. Man, I love that. They're making an award for us. Bro, Hmm. talk about your book a little bit, man. Yeah. Good loving. My Life as a Rascal. The story of Gene Cornish and the Young Rascals. The Rascals. Good loving, grooving, all those songs. It's selling pretty good, and we're having Sweet. a good time with well, it. Well, did you say Sweet. right? You got hooked up with uh, by Barnes and Noble. I think right? we're going to be carried That's by Barnes friggin- and Noble. Oh, is that all? That That's is huge. Awesome. Yeah, it's cool. Oh it's, my god, it's very cool. Yeah, we'll yeah. take it. But it's his story, so I'm a little less excited because it's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cool. I just wrote it. Okay, That's cool. but okay. Nah, you know. But everything is well. I'm feeling good, and I am so happy to be back with Monty and Navarro. Well, man. and we're happy to have you. He back. who reemerges from the basement with a with a book <laughs> was obviously busy. I, I mean, you know, jeez. I mean, if you're in the basement, I had I, in my mind you were like locked Larry away, Mormon? one light. <laughs> what? No. Oh my ah. God! No, ah. I was picturing you locked away, one light bulb typewriter. You no, know, I'm like no? that old school author by the fireplace and my oh. smoking jacket. <laughs> okay, yeah, why not? <laughs> Uh, I have an idea. <laughs> what is this? Uh, <laughs> Sherlock Holmes? Oh my, holy basil rap. No, but it's great right. to be back with you guys, man. I have been yeah. watching the whole time. I love you guys, Sweet. man. You know I love that, you so. and miss you. I'm glad Sweet. to have you back. Absolutely. Farrow? What's going on? You're week three, back in, in the saddle. Yeah. How's it feeling, bro? Dude, it's like, you know, it's like riding, riding a bike. bike. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. It's like, vroom, Okay. I've handled this road before. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's, 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 it's automatic, bro. I want to give a shout out to the uh, Monty Nefaro theme song from Aqua Cherry, uh, nice. straight to the top. You uh, can catch Aqua Cherry right through all Reverb Nation, CD Baby, Apple Music. They've got songs such as Yes Yes, Puppet, and Forever, mm. and of course our theme song, straight to the top. They, you mm. had them on Yo Bro, right? We had them on they Yo Bro. They were great. They are great. I mean, um, it's funny. There's only there's only one band that. Compares to Aqua Cherry and really? it's Wisteria Hall. Oh, nice! Wow. Hey, but thank uh, you, thank nice. you, thank you. I will tell you that you know I was highly, uh, highly pre- impressed by Aqua Cherry, and I yeah. caught them at Evolution, and I think what are they in Hicksville or something like that? That that. Bar. Revolution? Yeah. Revolution. Oh, that's in Amityville, I think. Thank there you, you go. There I always got to go to the rocker. How is that club, by the way? It's pretty cool, but it, for a rocker, I don't think I've stepped foot in it. A little old, so it's yeah, that's like, probably why I haven't stepped foot in it. There you go. Yeah. Who's the old guy? But I caught them live, and I was like, "Holy shit, this good band!" And I reached out to them, and then they came on Yo Bro, and then you know we were switching up things with the show a little bit, and they were like, "Hey, man, we love you know we want to be part of Long Island's number one pro wrestling broadcast Logical. and they said hey want to get our music out there we would love you to have that as a theme song nice so we're kind of using the Wisteria Hall Aqua Cherry combination um, sweet week two on cable yep how does that making you feel I love it man this is great these are the kind of things you shoot for when you get started from scratch this is awesome <laughs> we're scratching really well so here's, here's when a, you start here's, from here's scratch this is good scratching when you know? you're on, when you're on Facebook and we got we got pretty popular on YouTube yeah. and we're all you know yeah. through the station we get on a lot of yeah. a lot of play. is it a sure. little different on cable you feel a little more nervous when you see it on TV I gotta be honest to me it's a, <laughs> here we go back to riding a bike I'm like okay it's cool yeah. Let's, let's see where it goes. I like it so far. I, I, I don't sweat the details because we sweat the details behind the scenes before we put it on the air. So once it's on the air, it's like, okay, that's cool. We did it. We worked our ass off. There it is. Yeah. So I'm pretty pleased with it. Besides, you know, it's quality. Uh, for public access TV, I think it's awesome that we're on there. Got to start, know? right? It's a good start. Like, the, the progression is working. We're happy with the way we're going. Yep. Again, the, it's U- going the, YouTube channels, uh, yeah. the YouTube channel's doing really well. Yep. And... Uh, you know, again, without this vehicle of Village Connection, none of this ever happens. If yep. we were stuck somewhere else, point God of origin, where yeah. we would have been. Point so. of origin, bottom line. So anyway, you know. uh, special Sunday show at 10 a.m. We have none other than Hall of Famer Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Oh, and man. Yeah. Thoughts on Brutus? Wow. Major player growing up. About time he got in the hall. Come on, top of the card at one point. Major player. Were you a Brutus Beefcake fan? 
Honestly, yeah, the character, hell yeah. Miller, you remember Brutus Beefcake? I do. Yeah, I do. I thought he was a pretty, he was a great heel. <laughs> I just I I was like the heels, so that was my thing. So I was always a heel guy. My my favorite thing about Brutus Beefcake was WrestleMania two. I always loved the Dream Team with Greg Valentine, who oh, also had man. in the studio. I loved that team. The one thing that did bother me about that team, though, is their their outfits never matched. Like, I always feel like a tag team <laughs> the outfit should match somewhat. They were very different. Yeah. As individuals, they were very different. You know, I think they held the belts for eight months. It was a long time. Dude, that's a hell of a run. They were they were a great team, man. If you remember, they won the belts from Barry Windham, who was in studio. As we, you know, the funny thing is, we name all these wrestlers. There are a lot of oh them. yeah, they were here. We're not, but you're not dropping names, which is awesome. Right. It's not a name dropping thing. It's like they right. were actually here. Yeah, like, they're they're right. And a good Why? guy. They weren't here. Yeah, they <laughs> right. were here. They were here. But I always yeah. remember. Johnny Valiant mm-hmm. giving Brutus, I think it was Brutus, mm-hmm. the, the mm-hmm. cigar, because mm-hmm. he was Brutus's manager before Valentine mm-hmm. and he looked up and he put it in Wyndham's eye <laughs> and <laughs> burned his eye. That's awesome. Uh-oh. See, that's what's great about wrestling back then. You could do a whole bunch of shit to people. And it was realistic, though. It was like, you, oh, yeah. A cigar in the eye is more realistic that'll, than hitting someone with a baseball bat. bat. Yes, that, that'll get a baseball bat with barbed wire, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's <laughs> a little more realistic. Look at Miller! He's watching AEW. Yeah, got it. And, and the cigar to the eye will get you pinned. I can see that, you know. I'm so, I'm so, oh, man. I mean, come on. Yeah. Yep. Uh, a cigar? Yeah. But a baseball bat with barbed wire just gets you to fall down to the mat and you get up right away. Right. Oh, yes. yes. Today's wrestling. Yes. Nice stuff. Oh, yeah. Yes. I can. <laughs> hey, let's watch that one more time. No. So, let's anyway, not. Um, I will tell you on our <laughs> YouTube page, it's an overwhelming it's almost like a Trump victory a what that the fans what the want oh. Brutus to shave the Pharaoh's no, head what is live guy? on air come on man that would be awesome. what are you talking you about the fans now Pharaoh did you block me on this post what are you talking it's about YouTube Oy. customer's always right Pharaoh. I should be right. thank you wait a minute the customer's You're not... always right oh. I, used, I used to work for a Japanese no. customer they gave me three three lines right one don't tell a lie oh Two. He's done. Uh, well, no, so it was two lines. The other one was. The other one was. Cus- customer is God. Oh, God. stop! And the customers want your head shaved. Yeah, but why would Brutus want to do that to a nice Pharaoh like me? Uh, what are you Brutus? talking about? I've uh, ruled with a kind hand as anymore. the Pharaoh. This is wrong. I got to find. This is, and my biggest yeah, worry. Wrong. You know, Mill, What's my biggest, going on my here? biggest worry here right now what? is. You have to have a good razor because oh, you have the wrong razor. It hurts, here. right? Not only it hurts, it could it could what if he, a couple wait of Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, shit. What if he what if he, what if he files <laughs> Wait a minute! What if he files my nails instead? No. Oh come on! What are you gonna cut my hair for? Not Brutus the beautician. Yeah! Brutus, <laughs> Brutus the father! Yeah. Brutus. All right, I'll give you I'll give you two choices. <laughs> Manny Petty? He, he can shave he can shave your head no. or he can shave your balls. Oh, there's no that's the other head. What are you talking about? He can do the undercarriage. Basketballs? He'll do the undercarriage. The, why? Ow! I'm crossing Ain't up that already. Ridiculous? No. Did you think Savali Hit the would, high note, Would Farrell. Savali appreciate Farrell's pubes all over his finely clean studio? I, I take the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's horrible. So anyway, you know, excited for Brutus to come in. Um, Not anymore. This week... <laughs> This week, uh, you know, a lot of people talk about AEW. We're yeah. talking about how what great, how great that show is. We All decided right. to put up a poll. You want to tell the people what the poll what? was? The poll? Yeah. Oh, the poll. That was look. We you can say we, but I'm going to give you credit here because well, I kind of poked you a little bit about the whole Marco stunt thing, and the mm-hmm. next thing I know, I see this poll up. Who would win, Marco stunt <laughs> or Hornswoggle? Well, guess who's kicking whose ass in this poll? <laughs> Hornswoggle is ragdolling Marco stunt. Hundreds 61%. of votes! 61 something votes or something, and he's winning 61% to 39. Well, That's well. Fantastic. Yeah, Rey Mysterio, right? Oh, my God. There's no mystery here. Hornswoggle is clearly Andre in this case. Holy moly. No, what's you, going on? Right. You know, I got to be serious. I, right. think, I think the fans uh. really hate Marco Stunt that much. I, I don't well, think it's like, oh, this is funny. Let me vote for Hornswoggle. They hate him. I think it's like, I don't want to see a 90-pound guy in a wrestling ring. That, I think the Monty and the Faro fans have clearly spoken. Yeah. Pretty right. much. It's like, no thanks. Do you think the Monty and the Faro fans... Base is old school wrestling guys. I think a have? lot of I think a lot of them are, but I think there's some that who aren't. You what know. are you thinking, Mill? I think they're old school '80s. 
where it was the big guys game. fighting the big guys, where right. it was Hulk Hogan and That's Sid fair. Vicious or Sid Justice, whatever. In, yeah. in, <laughs> Sid Justice is Sid Vicious, all good. Sid Sid Sid. But I think when yeah. you put two big dudes in the ring who are in shape and can work a little bit, I mean, that's pretty badass, dude. It's better than the gymnastics. Yeah. Yeah. Exhibition. So let me ask Did you, he say look, gymnastics? You're a big Bruce Lee guy. I don't know if you're I a big am? Bruce Lee. We were oh, talking I about what was that movie? Once time. upon a time in Hollywood. So I saw that in the theaters. I and did not. A lot of people were very upset the fact that you know Brad Pitt beat up Bruce Lee in the <laughs> movie, right? But and it's a movie. Wait a minute, though. You told me that the whole thing was just make believe. Yeah, it anyway. was. In the end, it was. Then how can you be upset about it? Well. People got upset. People got upset, I'm confused. right? confused. But legitimately, huh. I'm saying that you're in a ring, Bruce Lee in a real fight with Andre the Giant. Bruce Lee have a chance? Wow, that's weird, man. Wow. I think he does. He does to an extent. To an extent, Unless right. Andre the Giant gets his freaking hands on him. Is Andre drunk? No. Andre straight sober. Oh, boy. And angry. And, and Oh, and I don't know. Because he young, wants young to drink. Andre? Young Andre? Not that... Andre crippled Andre. Yeah, okay. What are you doing? What are you doing? And by the way, check out the new Andre the Giant t-shirt. I'm nice. Right now nice. Andre talk. nice. That it. documentary was awesome. There was not enough Hulk, Hulk Hogan, though. I've done. Not enough. I could do without the fratulence. The fratulence? The, the fraudulence? The, the farting story. Yeah, thank yes. you. The oh, the fr- oh, no, yeah. I like the, the farting story. I'm just being a smart ass. Oh, yeah, oh is that what I that is? Not the farting I, just need, I didn't need to know that. I forgot about the farting moment. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. So, seriously, can what? Andre whip Bruce Lee's ass? Yes. I'm, oh, yeah. I don't know. I say yes. Okay. Push comes to shove. In, are they in a small room or are they in a ring? You said it's they were in a ring. It's a, it's a yeah. ring. It's not in a street where you can run around and climb walls and shit. You, well, if anybody's got a shot at decimating Andre and, and getting the leverage to work for him, it would be a guy like Bruce Lee, that's for sure. But if Andre grabs a hold of him, man. Here's the thing. I mean, come on. It's just, I, it's, what is he going to do? It's, I mean, he'll, he could break his neck with one squeeze. It's basic yes. It's basic knowledge, right? I, I would kind if of you're think, 400 pounds you know, or 350, it doesn't matter how strong you are at 160 pounds. You're not winning that fight. Right. You're not Probably knocking not. out a three hundred pound right. guy. Sorry, people. It doesn't matter how great you are at jujitsu. Now right? wait a second. I well, do think Bruce Lee could knock out plenty of three hundred pound guys. I yeah, do. Fat guys I like me. Don't think I'm Andre. Andre the Giant. Yeah. Right. I don't Bruce think Bruce Lee could Andre. take me. I, <laughs> oh, I would please. Bruce Lee probably could kick yeah, my ass. Yeah, take me. Probably. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, I can't. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, you know what? I don't know. I'd, I'd have oh my, my God. bet. I'd bet a couple of shekels on Monty as well. Thank you. A little <laughs> shekels. Welcome. Bet a few shekels. Thank you, sir. All right. What? We're, Duck we're, Morris? We're going to open up the show with some wrestling. Yeah. I'm going to open up with this, guys. Yeah. Bro, NWA power. Oh, love it. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Best thing since Georgia Championship Wrestling. <laughs> I love it. That studio feel. Oh, my God. Steve, have you seen this? You'll go nuts for this. What? NWA is... The oldest company, I've, I've told you a thousand times, it drives me crazy that Vince somehow never purchased this company. How do you let the original belt that goes back to 1903, 1904, and of course is the belt that Ric Flair, most of his career was Dusty Rhodes, Terry Funk, the Briscoes, blah, 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 you can go on and on. This is the oldest title in the world, and somehow they've got this weekly show now on YouTube, Billy Corgan still owns them? Yes. And they've recreated the feel of the old days of Georgia Championship Wrestling. It's a studio. No music got, intros. With an they audience. Come out to the ring. I mean, no, 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 no. They do their, they do their little right stick. ringside? Right yeah. in ringside. With like a, the with a live television awesome. audience. Dude, it's it a is, dude. I'm going to tell you. It's wonderful. At first, when I was watching, I'm like, oh, I don't know about this. Oh, All of a sudden, wonderful. It's I'm great. like, holy shit, this is fucking well, bad. I love I'm a, it. I'm a few years older than you guys, yeah. so I remember when it was Channel 9 on Saturday mornings right. and Billy Superstar. Billy Graham would beat the shit out of Frank Williams yep. or somebody and then come outside right, right there ringside and right. do the his whole right. spiel. Yeah. And I, that was great. That was what was entertaining. Right. So this is the same thing exact with NWA thing, Power. Right? NWA Power is a little focused more on the Georgia Championship Wrestling. It always... Even Florida Championship Wrestling it was always the announcer behind the table. Right. The guy would come out, do a spiel once in a while. Another wrestler would come out. They'd have a little confrontation. And then once in a while, they'd have a brawl. Right? Mm-hmm. But this is totally like that feel. It's it's That's it's, cool. It's, Kingston coming out right away and interrupting Cornette. And the and uh, forgive me, the announcer, the other announcer is excellent, by right. the way. He mm-hmm. reminds me of Soli when I started hearing the, the tonality of his voice. I'm like, wow, this guy's good. Yeah. But Kingston coming out, walking right into the middle of it, interrupting and... It just felt so old school. This is what they used to do. So you know? the, their men's division, uh, I'll start off with the men's division. All Aaron right. Stevens. Okay. Is, uh, Sandow. Right, Sandow. 
Steve. Kind of digging Aaron Steve's. It's Aaron Stevens. I like him. I always have. I think much he's better. Very than, but I got the thing I love about him is I like him better as Aaron Stevens than Damian, Damian Sandow. Sandow. Okay, that's fine. He's very entertaining. He is. I and, like him a lot, and I like the look, the suit. You know, I'm you know, he was that he thing. was very over with the WWE fans too. Oh he yeah, was. absolutely, he was. Uh, Georgia native uh, K- Caleb Conley. Ah, thoughts on him? Uh, you are talking about Trevor Lee, right? Yep, that is correct. What, what a beast! For a smaller guy, yeah. there's a guy who looks intimidating for his size. He really does, and he plays big. Yeah, he is excellent. I really like him. Cole really Cabana. like him. Cole Cabana is entertaining as hell, but then again, here I go with my punk, you know, affections again. I, I've always dug Cole Cabana. I think he's hilarious. Right. He's hilarious. And he's a good wrestler, too. He's a little underrated as a wrestler. He's very sad. like Cowboy James Storm? I love James Storm. James Storm. Did you like him in TNA? Co- I loved him in TNA. Beer Money Beer with Money. Bobby Roode? Oh, yeah. James Storm's excellent, man. Excellent. I actually... Do you got a better feel now he's in NWA power? Does it make you enjoy I've had a great feel for James Storm for years, man. That's a former TNA world champion. I, he's, he's the goods. Here's a guy I know you love. Yeah. Eli Drake. I love Eli Drake. How is he not with Vince... That guy's made for Vince McMahon's shtick. He is. Oh, Eli Drake is great. Dude, do you, do, what one, do you think of Eli Drake? I, I, I think him. of you when I see a guy but, like but Eli I Drake. I keep on thinking to myself, like, I don't want these guys to leave the NWA because yeah. they'll get lost in the sauce they will. in the WWE. They, that's and the problem. Get, they won't get lost in the sauce in AEW. Yep. But, you know, by the way, well, they might. the ratings came out. Um, oh, AEW has fell under a million. Did they? Yep. I'm actually and not NXT pleased about that. Under eight hundred thousand, I believe. I don't. Did know they the climb because they were they were no, seven two? They, both shows have dropped. Oh, they did drop. But you know, That's again, unfortunate. You know, we'll get into For the both. AEW. Okay. But um, okay. You know, th- it, look. It's uh, Wednesday well, night. Well, you knew it would calm down a little bit unless there was a bombshell or a CM Punk or something like that. It had to calm down, right? I mean, logically, a little bit. No, the problem is... Same you thing with uh, SmackDown. You can't, build, you, can't build, you can't build your shows around millennials. That's the problem. I'm, uh, to be determined. Let's see what happens. Right. I mean... To, Mr. Anderson? Oh, I love Mr. Anderson. Now, I'm not you a big that. fan of Mr. Anderson. Really? Man. Now, Never why? What are you going to say? Deal. He's not engaging? He's excellent. Okay, so I'm he's not, not Bret he's Hart in the ring, but right. I mean, damn, he's good with the microphone. Dude, when he used to come, I, I, I didn't like him in the WWE. I didn't like him in TNA. Really? Do you, remember, do you remember Mr. Kennedy at all? I do not. Uh, I, I I always felt that he was, you know, you know what happened with him. I felt he was targeted for big things, and he was, but his right. personality basically ruined that in the he, WWE. Here's a guy that was won me over now, Nick okay. Aldis. Oh, sure. Nick Aldis. Sure. Right? Well, you know what's interesting? The uh, the best. Uh, Nick Aldis I ever saw in TNA because he was there for a long time was just when they healed him out and put him in a suit Yeah, and he was basically pr- playing the I'm your first British world champion card and he was extremely obnoxious I like to see what they're doing with him here they've, they've kept the suit they're kind of like playing off the he's a likable champion so far I've enjoyed his work and I love his sidekick get into that with me please Camila. Oh, wow. That's written great. I can't wait till she finally says something. Dude, that's what I mean. <laughs> Talk she about, hasn't said a word. Well, why do you love this whole shtick between him and Camila? So, I, you, I know you're not watching NWA Power, Steve. Yes. But Camila is Nick Aldis's partner. Uh, valet, we'll call her. Manager. Right. I don't know. They haven't said what she is, really. Right. Is the that thing, the really good-looking blonde woman? The there you really go, bingo! You nailed it, Steve. Put a picture of <laughs> with this right. Yes, yeah, there you go. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm, I got You're it. On it Steve is on it. And Sorry. her two friends, by the way. Oh, her two yeah, friends. Her two friends. Oh, yeah, duh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, the yeah. stick is it's Pop, almost hey, macho puppy. man s, right? Yeah. She's not allowed to talk. Right. Oh. And the announcer's like, and it's constantly poking. Every week it's building. Every week. What do you got to say? And. This week, they, like, focused on her, and then she just refused to talk. And I love how the reporter pushed the envelope. He was told that, do not ask this question. That's right. And he dropped it anyway at the end. And, yeah. and, and, and he, he got in trouble for keep. Aldis, Aldis is stick. pretty good. It's good stuff. He's pretty good. It he is. played that well. I am enjoying the crap out so of this show. It's one, really good. One thing I didn't know is that Camilla in real life is Braun Strowman's squeeze. Wait a minute. You didn't know that? I didn't know until a couple. Looks of days like ago. she's gonna get these heads. Now, if That's I'm hilarious. Vince, if hey. I'm Vince, you've got. I would steal Camille. Oh, absolutely. And put yeah. her with Strowman. Yeah, how has that not already happened? Uh, that that is like gold right there. She's hmm. smoking. She's, By the way, she is so hot, dude. Yeah, was, oh uh, my god. Dude, yeah, dude. Understood. That's like no joke, hot. Oh. <laughs> 
it's That's working. Like, it should be illegal to be that hot, man. Yes, yes, it should. Because, like, ugh. It, there's nothing to say. It's just like she's smoking. <laughs> like, what are you? Uh, you no got some nerve. Is she Mandy Rose hot? What? Hotter. What? No, 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 no. no. Oh. According to the picture, wait. I'm gonna go back to the picture. Yeah, yeah, no, put it, it up for the fans. Look, it it, it's in the, the same. Fans. It's in the same fitness club. If that's hold what you're on, getting at, on. but I'm not so sure the about it. I think she's hot. Yeah, yeah. Farrell's got to keep it. You know. How about Alexa Bliss? Is she Alexa Bliss hot? What? Yes. She's in the room. They were all in the same room. What's the difference? I gotta tell you too. Like, I think about. Camila, I'm thinking about right. Mandy Rose. I think about Alexa Bliss. Somebody I think get, about Sasha Banks. Somebody get the uh, and then, I, then I think about friggin' oh, yeah. Bailey, and I'm like, oh, what is what, dude? <laughs> Bailey with that haircut. I mean, the you only like thing it? that's, dude, no, the only thing that's missing is <laughs> is the mole. And a broom and do 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 I'll get you and your little dog too! Bailey looks horrendously witchy poo! What's going on? Witchy poo! Oh, that's witchy she poo! She does not have a nice face. Dude, it's, it's really <laughs> highlighted now that she... I'm trying to think about witchy poo. What was that then? Was that... HR Puffin, HR Puffin stuff! stuff. What's right. wrong with oh, you? You used to watch that? Yes. HR Puffin stuff. Tough. What do you do when Was things get rough? Girl on it? Can't do a little because no. you can't do enough. Diddly 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 diddly. Is that the one with the talking tree? Yeah, they yes. were in there. Yes. That fucking show that, annoyed me, Dude, man. that show was acid dripping. Those people yeah, were like high as a kite. So when I was in kindergarten, yeah. kids used to watch that. I used to just beat the shit out of them. Nice. Right then and there. That's, See, that's it. It's a good thing I met you years later. You would have pounded me. What the hell? Like, you like Mr. Rogers? Bang, 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 bang. like me bang, bang. the Partridge Family kids. Did you watch the Partridge Family this week? Boom. <laughs> That's really yeah, you sappy. Beat people for watching the Partridge Family? What no, the I hell? beat them up for their pretzel money, but I mocked them <laughs> for the You're Partridge wrong. Family. Yeah. <laughs> oh Dude, Susan Day was smoking, bro. No, she right, wasn't. All right, here we go. Here we go. What? Susan Wait Day a minute. Was not what? Smoking. Marsha Brady was smoking. Okay. Susan was pretty hot, dude. Yeah, I guess. Come on, yeah, man. what's wrong yeah. with you? And, yeah, you know, and the girl from the Mod Squad who passed away. The girl, oh, Peggy Lipton. Peggy Lipton. Oh, oh my god. Wow, what a. You know who got me, too? I know this sounds Here crazy. Go. Remember you... Thelma from Good Times? Yes. DJ's sister? Yeah. What a rack. She was hot. Holy Anytime crap. you're feeling free. <laughs> Anytime you're up on under. You know who I also thought was pretty hot? Wheezy. Whoa, <laughs> just. <laughs> Alice from oh the Brady my Bunch. Oh, Alice is so hot. Won't you be my maid? Wait, <laughs> wait a minute. What about Florence from the Jeffersons? Oh, she's <laughs> smoking. smoking. Oh, I would have fired her. Smoking. I would have fired her. She'd be like, Mr. Jefferson, oh, fuck you. Man. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't curse. Oh, Mrs. Well, Ga- Mrs. Mrs. Garrett. <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Garrett. Garrett. The girls would come out. You'd be like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so Mrs. Garrett would come in her room. Oh. Uh, she's <laughs> ruining it. All right. Back to wrestling. Oh, it's Tim planned. Storm. Yeah. Thoughts on him? Our age in the ring. Looks great. I dig him. Kind of dig him. fine. He's fine. Dude, I'm just loving NWA power. Yeah, it's great. Here's the one thing I don't want to uh, about NWA <laughs> Here power. Here we go. I'm sorry. <laughs> fucking Robert Gibson's <laughs> fucking eye scares the shit out of me, man. <laughs> Googly boogly. Is, is that that dude with the <laughs> mullet? It's the mullet yeah, and his the eyes. Guys. His yeah, eyes yeah, looking yeah. downtown. Yeah. It's not crap. A, look at yeah. that eye. Look at that eye. Who's he talking to? Like, if he's talking to you, like, are you talking to me? Dude, I used to watch him when we younger. Oh, I went to a lot of events and man. I had trouble with it. Now that's that he's rough. old, it's like, put a patch on that, bro. But, dude, they, oh, stop. They got surgeries for that. Get but, that oh, shit under control. Oh, There's also God. a time when it's like, okay, time to go. Uh, oh, time like, to stop wrestling. Stop oh, wrestling now. <laughs> All right. Ageism! <laughs> stop! Xenophobe. Just stop! Would you? What? How? <laughs> How? I can't. How did we get there? Dude, first, I don't first know. of all, look. First what? of all, I don't appreciate the fact that you guys make fun of someone who has a wandering eye, okay? You it's knew that's fault. your script! You're the one who did that! You're blaming me? Yeah! That's that, oh, that sounds like the Pharaoh? What the fuck, Robert Gibson? Your eye scares me. That doesn't sound like the Pharaoh! That sounds like the Monty! That's what it sounds like! Does it like, scare you? Yeah! So then, it scares the about? shit out of me! I don't know! Call Dr. Blitzer! Dude, so if Camilla, that girl you're so hot for, yes. had a wandering eye, would you be into her? Yes. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. I don't, care. Like I don't care what way she's looking. Yeah, I don't care. She's oh got no God. eyes. I don't care. What the like, hell? I don't care. He I just yells her eyes. No eyes. Demon Camille. Oh. Yeah, yeah. What the hell? Doesn't matter. Oh, oh my God. God. It's don't horrendous. Any eyes. Happy Halloween. <laughs> well, it'd probably be easier. Probably be better for me, though, if she had no yeah. eyes. We might have a chance. I'm 6'4", baby. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Millie, you're hot. Yeah, I'm 6'4", 230. Holy 
Holy yeah. shit! Six Ooh. foot two thirty. Oh, shit. Oh, bro. oh, oh my god, my ribs, I'm my ribs, I'm sweating. my ribs. I'm giant, right. bro. Come All on. right, guys. <laughs> recently announced that WWE right. announced the phenomenal one. AJ Styles will defend his United Heavyweights Championship October thirty first at the Crown Jewel event in Saudi Arabia. In Ooh. order to find the next challenger, which I think is an excellent idea, you need you guys to weigh in. Right. A twenty man battle royal has been announced as right. show, and the winner earning an immediate title shot. I love that. That's totally old school. You guys, th- thoughts on that? Uh, um, go ahead, Steve. Let's give the platform like to Steve it. for a minute. I like it. The more guys, the better. Okay. And that's that's always been my thought. When they have the battle royals, you know, you're going to have 10 or 12 of them who you know are not going to win. Right. And they're going to get thrown over. Big right. deal. But then, you know, to me, it's keep entertaining. Entertaining. It's about entertaining. And the more... Right. The ba- yeah, not 50 guys in a ring. I think that's ridiculous. But you throw 20, 20? in... And let it used to always be like a 25 man battle. Right. right. So we're the only assholes that go to our first battle royal when we were younger. And they had stars in there, right? Like Neil Mascaris. Yes. Uh, Don Morocco. Yeah. Greg Valentine. Yeah. Right. And what do we get to win that match? Fuji and Saida. Uh, we were in shock. The Garden lost their marbles. And we were like, what? Now, Fuji and Saida moment. rocked. Great right? moment. Right? But it was like so unexpected. And we were just like, and we're, we, were, like, we weren't new to wrestling, but that was like our first match together. I think so. And it was like, I think so. Fuji and Saito? Yeah. Uh, and the yeah. winner got a title shot, right? The next month. Did they, they really? I, I can't. So. Well, they, the winner got fifteen thousand dollars. Uh, that's it. You're that's right. what they got. Right. They split the money, and the garden crowd. Oh, lost that's their right. Minds. They, didn't, they 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 stopped. They the looked match. at each other yeah. after a pretty cool battle uh, royal yeah. and bowed to each other. And I was like, "What the?" And, and the bell the rang. And split the money, dude. It was. It was that's actually really good. It's pretty good. That's pretty awesome. You know what? It was awesome. That was excellent. At the time, that was disappointing. Oh, we were right? pissed. Mil Maskers went out like almost instantly. Right. Oh, and at that time, we thought Mil Maskers was a shit. Right. By and the way, by the way, Fuji and Saito, Saito did not only stick it to us on that, but the next time around, they got to defend their titles against Rods and Estrada. We saw that. That's right. You remember that? Jeez, you got and that was awesome that Rods and Estrada got a shot, that by was, the way, because yeah. I dug them, too. They were Johnny very Rods. underrated. The but, unpredictable. But it's, but it's underappreciated, funny, Talking maybe. to all these maybe wrestlers that. now that wrestled with Mil Maskeris, right? Mm-hmm. They're like, Mill was a pain in the ass. Not the hearing, guy wouldn't sell for anybody. Not hearing good stuff. Mill wouldn't do shit. Over, huh? I am Mill asking us. I will not do anything. And I will know, not lose. You can't hurt me. You can't even make me fall down. I'm Mill Maskinist. The fella that we went to that battle royal with, his dad took us. And the fella <laughs> was a huge fan of Mill Maskinist. It was his favorite wrestler at the time. And this all makes sense now, what you just said, because... He gets so excited. Here comes his hero, and he's out in 30 seconds. And you thought to yourself, Mill Mascaris eliminated, or, or yeah. eliminated already? Right. Well, it turns out that Mill was like, oh, I'm not winning. Throw me out. Yeah. I don't oh, want to work. Oh, you didn't yeah. want to work. That's what I'm really getting down to. And then there's 12-year-old, you know, our buddy going, eh, <laughs> he's like ruined. That Mascaris was that magic battle. through social media. Ruined. Yeah. Ah, you don't work. He saw him for two Give seconds. Give me half the effort. Wow. <laughs> Wow, the internet sounds really whiny. What's wrong I with hate you, you Mill Maskeris. Oh my god. You xenophobe. <laughs> what? Is, Raw this week had a limited roster with the majority of the wrestlers were in Australia, so we got a, okay. a, a, a huge little uh, dosage of Lana and Bobby Lashley. Uh, no thanks. Here's a funny thing. Off that she train. She broke up with Rusev, Lana, angry. Hey. I ask you to bring me to this restaurant, dude. Please, all the time. Oh. And guess what? They're, they're where they're, where they're, the show is from, the Rocket Mortgage, Mortgage Field House in Cleveland, Ohio. Oh. You your whole life you wanted to go to a restaurant in, in Cleveland, Cleveland, Ohio. How do you, how right. do you get there? The like, right. how does it get to that? All right, let's be in New York right. or LA. It could have been anywhere. You, I Cleveland. Always wanted, I always wanted to go to Spago. No, I always wanted to go to Paco's <laughs> Hot Dog House in Cleveland. In Cleveland. Exactly. It what looked fuck? like it looked like a fancy Arby's. Yeah, it was basically. ridiculous. It was so bad. It was. A, has the meats I'm sorry, so, man. Major. Oh, hey, we <laughs> we've got the meats. <laughs> All right, so that was terrible. It was awful. Street prof. Street Profits made their uh, match, yeah, and uh, yeah. with Kevin Owens doing a little stunner. Mm-hmm. Thoughts? Cool, fine with it. How you liking the Street Profits? Uh, very entertaining team. Yeah, very entertaining team. I dig them. Excellent on the mic. Very good in the ring. You'll find that out about Montez Ford. The more you watch him, dig him. Ooh, man, he's good. Well, I want to talk about you know. AEW because I love. By it the so way, much. they're forming stars. Anybody noticing Street a bit. Street Profits? You know, um, highlights good. from AEW. 
Okay. Boring. What? <laughs> what are you doing? What do you mean? Uh, Some of it, not all of it. Come on. Mm, all right. Mark, let me go through the matches. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me what you think. I will. Moxley versus Pac. Okay. Uh, I thought this was fine, but what really irked me was his the time limit draw. The fans went nuts. They were like, "What? Boo!" So it had really no conclusion, which I thought was, you know, if the if Vince ever pulled that shit. What the hell? What do you mean? There's well, no winner. It, it I was gets, like, oh, it's it better though, man. Britt Baker against Jamie Hader. I just heard a fart in Farmingdale. <laughs> I whatever next. I could. By the oh. way, the, the look. I'm sorry if this. You know what? Turn your volume down because you're about to get offended. Some of you. The women's wrestling in AEW compared to the WWE is absolutely the drizzling, like, the drizzling it's like shit. The Yankees against some. The women's division, league, there in, is in absolutely Greenland, no comparison when it comes it's to those terrible, rosters. Really? Oh, it's not, in my opinion, no. Really? Sure, there might be a gem here, there, but I it's tell not you the, the, the roster that oh, Vince I, I has. I turn it on, and it's the Lucha Brothers, whatever the fuck the name oh. is. Oh. Hey, hey, Pentagon. Okay. Big fan. Go on. It looked like a, cir- a scripted circus. Kicks that would barely touches someone's head, uh, flipping this guy, flipping orchestrated flips. Understood. I'm like, this is what everybody's what? Over the WWE? There was certain, I'm like, what? There was certain, certain, delay or was that's it, what it is! The, you know, and every match was very predictable as far as the outcomes. I don't well, see that listen, as being too You know what, this is good. where uh, you're upsetting me because what? we had the best friends. Now, we love Trent Burrell. I do! Against what? the Young Bucks. Okay. Oh, my God. I, I, mean, I, I, I was alright with that match. It was fine. Okay, here's the problem with AEW. So you love all these matches. You're a fan. No, oh, wait, I didn't say that. But we guess got plenty what? more to watch. Uh... They're running out of guys to wrestle each other. I mean, right. you know, you know, Moxley can only wrestle three more guys, and then it, there's no one left it, on the roster to wrestle. We'll see what happens. Yeah, yeah throwing, so far, it's it's a limited top of the card. We'll see what happens. those realistic punches? He's gotten better. <laughs> He's getting better. Well, I, oh, by I'm, the way, he's I'm in much better shape question. too. I want you know, I wanted to run that by. He's like in he's much better out. shape. Looks like he's actually hit the gym a little bit. He, he looks fine. Well, I saw. Can I, can I chime in? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw that that people were uh, online comparing it with the uh, Monday Night Wars and the difference. And I'm like, no way. I don't see because that. they're not taking the WWE's top guys. No, they're taking mid card guys at best. This now, is right? a smaller war that we're I mean, all was making much bigger. He went over? So, what was he was Neville? Uh, Neville. 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 That's the guy. That's that why was, he's a wrestling expert. But that was not a, a I top, love Neville. That was not a I top do. of the card guy. He should have been. Hey, he he should have been. He was decent, but he wasn't a draw. I'm, I'm with guys like Pac when they, you know, for the reasons they left. I understand that part. Mm-hmm. That but I sense, do. Yeah. I, I, no, I, I, I understand it for Ambrose too. I do. But they again, compare it to Hogan. All and I'm Savage, saying, all I'm mean. saying is this: the match was a good match, but the ending was lame. The whole crowd said it was lame. They were booing the shit out of that decision. <laughs> so that to me is a. Well, you know why okay. they do that, then right? Then you got Britt Baker versus uh, Jamie Farr from MASH. That's a go back, go back. Then you got go you know, back to Moxley Pac. You know ahead. why they do that, right? Because they don't have enough wrestlers to wrestle, so they're like, "Let's extend it. We can extend it to next week and there the is, week after, and the week after." You that. know what? On that on that thought, there is one interesting thing that I did take from the draw. Good. If there's one thing we all don't like, and, that Moxley and, still sucks, and, and, and oh, of course, yeah, but sorry. oh, if anybody's led that bandwagon, it's it's Steve, but. I think the draw at least might indicate one thing that always frustrates us about the WWE booking. They don't want to do a 50-50, so instead of having one guy win and then the next guy wins the next week to get it back, they had it a draw, like you said, to draw it out. In which a is way, better. Which in a way, better. I would almost rather see that any day. I agree. Then I hate the 50-50 booking. Give me the countdown. No, Ziggler the... drives you nuts yeah, but because dude, he's the victim of 50-50 dude, booking. I see people, you can't take it serious. We used to watch matches. Yeah. They had countouts and disqualifications. Right. You do that now, people are like, they oh lose my it. God. They lose it. it. This is and a that's why time. this draw may be telling us that Cody is sending a message to his fans, get used to this, that you may see this from time to time. Which is interesting. I do find that interesting. We'll see. The only you thing know? I found interesting, and you could talk about it, is the yeah. whole Jericho skit. Wasn't that awesome? I, I did love good. that. Come on, man. And I figured you would, too. That was great. I love when he broke the glass. I love that uh, Jericho, what an irritating... But again, the guys involved man. in this are the real professional wrestlers. Right. And I'm sorry Absolutely. to insult them, the but these the are the real... These are the major Jericho. league wrestlers. Right. You Jericho's know, I'm great. sorry. You could want to coach anybody up. Oh, oh my God. 
they're the future? No, they're not. They're just it's, it's not, not compared to a guy like Jericho. When you see that, that's maturity at its best. That well, was an absolutely awesome brawl. I loved every second of it. I love MJF. You love MJF. How about, uh, For Joe, those people how who about Joey Janela against Kenny Omega? I love Joey Janela, and I enjoyed that match. But I think you know I'm a Joey Janela fan. I've mentioned it before. I absolutely love Joey Janela going back to Combat Zone. I've been watching that guy for years. He's great, and he has some real charisma. They should use him more. Push him. Push him. He's good. And that match with Omega was fine. That I enjoyed. The Young Bucks uh, have been announced for AEW Full Gear. They will right. be facing Santana yeah. and Ortiz. The anticlimactic, you know, whatever. whatever. I could, whatever, man. More AEW another news. another flip-flop fest. I'm this sure is always fine. important because, God forbid, we could just have wrestling being what is, fun. We what discuss is this? this all the time. I don't know anything Brandy about Brandy Rose wants more black women executives in wrestling. Who? Brandy Rhodes. That's Cody Rhodes' wife. I would love to see, she's quoted as saying this, I'd love to see more women, especially women of color, backstage in executive roles. So why didn't you hire them? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> why did you hire them? Yeah. What? You got to make someone else hire them? You do it. Yeah. Well, lead by example. Yeah, that's why we have you here, Mill. That's a pretty smart answer right there. <laughs> Sorry. Thoughts on that there, Farrell? Are you trying to get me angry? Go ahead. Because this kind of stuff I don't want really... to get you angry, but. Well, let's see. What do we got here? Leaps and bounds, blah, blah, blah. Backstage, it's still a little bit like it used to be. Okay, let's take that sentence. Backstage, it's still a little bit like it used to be. What exactly does that imply? What does that imply? You tell me. What does that imply? Like, you know, we're not hiring certain backgrounds on purpose? What the fuck are you getting at? I okay? Think. And just because your background is different than somebody else's, you're suddenly the specially divine appointed one? I should give you a job right away off the bat? Maybe we should just increase it for you because after all, you've had such a hard fucking life! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! What the fuck? I can't stand whining where it doesn't belong. Wow. You know? And like you said, you want to, you want to put, then hire the whole damn staff of your own. Hire it. Whatever. This is just the way I feel about it. Whatever. Look, if someone from my background, my background was like, we need more of me. I'd be like, shut the fuck up. What the fuck made you so much better? So I'm doing, I'm being fair. I think that's bullshit. Wow. What, you you I, think that's fine? No, I just well, hey, didn't know I was going to trigger you this way. That's that right. bothers me. But backstage, it's still a little bit like it used to be. Yeah. <laughs> the, the frig. Well, coming off of that, we're going to our favorite part. You know she show. can't wrestle, right? She cannot wrestle. She's horrendous. She, I, she looks good. Um, oh, well, hey. That's it. Well, hey. There should be ten more of her in the back. I can't anymore. Anyway. All right, anyway, we're going to go to our favorite part of the show. Uh, speaking of boy, the annoying wrestling expert. The who? That's uh, our favorite part of the show uh, where we find a post from one of the most annoying wrestling experts. We oh, pull whatever they God. have to say and we comment on them. So yeah, that's right. So, so much good work. So I'm going to read this. I'm going to ask either one of you gentlemen to respond to this and oh, give yeah. your feeling on the most annoying wrestling expert. Are you ready now? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Go. <laughs> we could sit around and play, if I was Vince McMahon, this is what I would do. But the reality is that it's just a lot of intelligent people wasting their time on a company that has already sold its soul <laughs> and no longer cares about most of its loyal <laughs> fans. Uh, uh, gentlemen, thoughts? Go ahead, Steve. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just like, you know what? Isn't wrestling supposed to be entertaining? Isn't that the idea? Is like you're supposed to entertain. If people are entertained and want to spend their money and they have a good time, say there's a show at the garden, mm -hmm. right? And people go in and have a good time. For two and a half, three hours, they forget about their troubles. They root for their guy. They have a couple of beers. They throw some shit at the ring. Right. That's awesome. That's what's there for. What does it have to do with people wasting their time? What do you care if people are wasting their time? It's none of your business. Grow up. Shut up. Farrell? Sorry. That's <laughs> great point. Did I really hear selling our souls? Yeah. <coughs> Look into my eyes, Vince. You'll see who I am. My name is Lucifer. Please take my hand. Where the hell is this? Satan? Wrestling? Satan! We're, we're throwing Satan into pro wrestling. I heard Vince sold his soul. I heard Joe Namath sold his soul. 
Shall we entertain some more moronic ideas? I wish the Yankees would have sold this. Yeah, it would, yeah well, you know, <laughs> couldn't Hank Steinbrenner yeah. sell his soul? For Christ's sake. <laughs> That's the problem. Hank Steinbrenner's been locked in a closet since he signed A-Rod. Yeah, I guess. Hal is running the team, like Mr. Rogers. Well, take There's Mr. Rogers, Rogers again. Sh- so your thoughts are what? It, I don't or, have or, or is it WWE shitting on its loyal fans? No. no. They're giving what they think every week is the product people want to see. The Vince is not purposely going, I can't wait to suck and piss everybody off this week. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. Hey, well, it's got to be another way we can kill the ratings. I, what are you talking ah, about? Ah, right. That's true. That's true. I don't game. understand. I don't get it. And if you hate it, again, if you hate it don't so watch it. much, why? Why every week? <laughs> I can't anymore. If you hate it, turn it off. Uh, the simplicity of it is really and quite this, obvious. This is this is why I love this part I, of the I'm show exhausted. because you know, uh, everybody wants to know about the most annoying wrestling <laughs> oh expert. Oh my god, this could be anyone though. There's thousands of them, I can't. I got an idea. <laughs> what? Oh <laughs> my god. So anyway, everybody's bragging about AEW and okay. blah, 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 blah. Okay. The best match of the week yes. between Raw, yeah. AEW, yeah. and even Power, yeah. in my opinion, was the three-way uh, dance last was, night on NXT. Be- this was beautiful. I love this. Physical enough for you? Yeah. Dramatic enough for you? Absolutely. How'd you like the end? I'll tell you what. How'd Ke- you like that end? Dude, Keith Lee and Dominic. There you go. It, these guys. There you go. It's magic. How great are those two? Together, How it's magic. Are, by the way, Roderick Strong is a machine oh, yeah. that gets no credit. I mean, he's a machine. You like the Undisputed Era? Love it. How you feel about Finn? Dig it. That, that stuff was great. I agree. That was excellent. But unfortunately, it's WWE. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> For years, NXT was like, you know, we love NXT. It's so great. It's so much better than the main show. AEW comes on the air. Who? We're NXT. Lose, lose, lose. I don't get it. Uh, Fox is scheduled to air a one-hour WWE special this coming Sunday, October 27th at 2 p.m. Pigs. There, is, there was no word on what the special is about. It's just following... Special from TV Guy. I don't know what to think about that. What, uh, it's probably nothing. But all right, so it's time for real wrestling fans to tune out because we know real wrestling fans have no money. What? Uh, the WWE stock is down 0.16%, <laughs> closing at $66.62 per share. Today's high was 67.99, and the low was 65.75. Oh, no. I'm going to have to sell my third yacht. <laughs> I can't. What are you talking stock? about? Stock? What's that? Stock. What are you talking about? Speaking of WWE stock, I... CNN has a new article that says WWE has been smacked down by Wall Street, <laughs> Wall Street this year. This piece notes on the WWE stock is now down about 10% this year and is trading for more than 30% below its 52-week high. CNA reports that some investors are concerned that we have reached peak with the WWE. Ratings are a barometer of uh, are the barometer of fan interest, and they are not going in the right direction. They also look on how the concern over the international WWE TV deals and how investors hope the WWE officials will reveal details of those deals when they report. So basically, what they're saying is, guess what? When you're in trouble, go make a go do a crown jewel, and right. the stock will go right. right through the roof again. Probably. So if people. For all you people that have no money out there, um, this is a perfect time to buy the stock. Because guess what? After Crown Jewel, you'll see that sixty six go to about seventy to eighty five yeah, dollars. Yeah, yeah. Then sell it. Yeah. But guess what? If you only can afford one share, don't waste your time because you ain't making no money, right? Yeah. You know it's hilarious with all this fancy talk. They also say WWE is on the brink of a period of unprecedented growth. Oh my God! All this fancy talk. Which is it? You know, oh, look out, it went down 0.16. By the way, it's on the verge of unprecedented growth. What the fuck? Which way is it? Fucking genius. I hate them. Oh, look, the winner of the Battle Royal, Mansoor. <laughs> Saudi Arabia. Never heard of the guy, never seen him since. He well, wins a 50 man Battle Royal because he's from Saudi listen, Arabia. Listen, WWE hatred has now gone even extended because what? now the video gamer nerds. Now we're upset over video the game? WWE 2K20 released on October 22nd. Oh, what Let's give now? you some reviews. So, as a book writer, I, you I, look at reviews, right? Somewhat, so, you, yes. so you the WWE. I just want to read some of the reviews from. I don't video play game. 2K20, but the video game is. W. Here's some view reviews. WWE 2K20 is broken in every way. 
<laughs> from Kot- Kotaku. I don't know what the fuck that is. This is not how wrestling ring ropes work. Oh, dear spin. God. Hold on, there's ah. more. WWE 2K20 is a glitch-filled disaster, Sports Illustrated. Wow. Ooh, that's bad. WWE 2K20 is a horror movie of a mess. SB Nation. Smack that's SB bad, Nation. too. That's bad, too. Ugh. WWE 2K20 <laughs> say, fans say, say, it's a huge mess. <laughs> Polygon. Oh, my God. And then there's hashtag fix WWE 2K20 campaign trending on social media following Buggy Launch, IJ, IGN. Um... My thoughts is Larry must be creaming himself. <laughs> Larry Marvin's creaming right now. Why? Uh, <laughs> why? I'm uh, so good. Oh, because it's a video game. Oh. 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 All right. Yeah, but, but rumor is true now. We just found out that Eric Bischoff actually created WWE 2K. So, you know, that's why it's what is it is. Is that why it is what it is? Is that the new thing is to blame Bischoff now? Yeah, it's like it's, it's Bischoff's true. fault. Just blame Bischoff. <laughs> shirts made with that blink bitch off. Can you believe like, people getting that upset about video, A video games? games? Yes, I can. Oh my god. Here's an idea. Get out of your fucking basement. Go out and see the sun. Here's an idea. Cook your own right. fucking meatloaf, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ride a bike. But they Something. Have, I don't care. Get out of the, the air. They have the new Goldberg on the deluxe edition. <laughs> what are you talking yeah. about? Hey, I, wait a minute. Those ring ropes didn't work right. You know what? Everybody's worried about Trump and everything else. We're just okay. ready to be taken over. Yeah. It's we like are. People, any country's watching it. Just don't take my iPhone and let me play my video games. Do whatever else you want. My Wi-Fi is not working correctly. Invasion my ass. I don't care. I don't care. Why are you not my Facebook friend? Friend, Yeah. (laughs) What happened? Isn't that all over the place? I give up. All right, so we got about five minutes. Let's recap Raw this week. Guys, weigh in. You ready? Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> Recap. I'm really off. upset over he the, is the brandy. You're an angry, angry fellow. Brandy, 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 the brandy thing is annoying as shit. And the video games really pissing you off too. Right? Video games are a joke. You don't like talking about video games. No, I don't like video games. I never fan. played video. No, games. never. No, I, when I was a kid, you'd go. Yeah, well, you arcade, play like pong like and pong. shit. But could you imagine? Pong's a disaster fest. Pong two is disgusting. Fix I this. I tried to move the paddle and it was a delay. <laughs> The passing feature on the This thing sucks, Ma! This thing sucks! Dude, could you imagine social media in the late 70s, early oh, 80s? Oh, God. God. Pong sucks! Like polyester suit rip. Lee Majors grew a mustache! Ma! How can you imagine? What? You know, with your whole look! The, the $6 million board. man with the mustache! The $6 million man! Yeah. Like, we all knew that was Andre the Giant and not really Bigfoot. I knew it! Yes, Spoiler this alert! This should be... <laughs> There should be more blocks on the love boat. <laughs> Why not? Why what? not? <laughs> Why the hell not? You can do it today. You might as well. Yeah. What do you mean, Ted Lang? What do you mean, Isaac as the bartender? Why is he a bartender? He should be running the ship. You fucking racist. I can't anymore. Stop. Oh you know? God. There should have been more white people on Good Times. Good Times like shouldn't be about black what? people. It should be about white Italians. <laughs> In the ghetto. In, in the, the ghetto. <laughs> what? Hey, Wheezy. <laughs> oh, yo, Weezy. oh, oh, Wheezy. What are you doing? I can't. What's going on? What's with these meatballs, Wheezy? What's up with this? What's up with these spray paint on the walls? Hey, Esther. I gotta grind up your face so I make a gorilla cookies. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, oh my God. Jesus. Pharaoh's on How did we roll, go in this bro. direction? I, I don't know. Pharaoh's on a roll. There should be more oh, blacks man. on the love boat. But why not? Isaac should be captain, goddamn. I'm supporting this motion. What's the problem? <laughs> oh, right. my God. <laughs> Exciting and new. There's too many blacks on the Titanic. Damn it. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, there are, what? I don't even remember that being in Titanic. Exactly. They... There's not enough blacks on the Titanic. We want more drowning. <laughs> there must be more Italians <laughs> on the Titanic. Oh, this oh, is horrendous. <laughs> All right, oh, let's go over Roy. We're going to get out of here. Ric Flair named Drew McIntyre as the final member of Team Flair for Saudi Arabia. Oh, I was all goosebumpy. Go on. Drew McIntyre, because they had a limited roster, wrestled about a fun at 40 minute snore fest against Ricochet. Hey, I like that match. Did you like that match? I did. It really was a snore I thought fest. it was a good match. It was too long, though. 17 too minutes. Long. That's too long. 17 minutes? It was 15 too minutes too long. Oh, well, I, I thought it was a decent match. I thought it was a decent match, though. I thought it was good. I thought it was good. Ricochet's pretty good. With the right ending. Yes, I thought it was good. 
Alex the Black defeated Jason Reynolds. Stop already. What is Who's that? J- Jason, I'm in better shape than Jason Reynolds. I'm 54. <laughs> and I'm, not, I'm in better shape. Jason Reynolds, he was just fat. And like, not even fat, he was plump. I don't get it. Next. Rusoff attacked Bobby Lashley in yeah, Cleveland I, because, God forbid, he took her to her favorite restaurant. <laughs> Chubbies. Chubbies. That was <laughs> fucking horrible. You man. would never take me to Chubbies. <laughs> it was terrible. It's the worst. Oh, and Lashley. We're in love. <laughs> He's the worst actor he ever. He looks mental, He's bro. So he really does. He, yeah, he, he does looks look mental, mental now. Like, Dude, it's, it's I don't mean mental like crazy. Him. I mean like mentally challenged. Yeah, yeah nothing can save him. Point. Nothing yes. can save him. Andrade yes. beat Sin Cara. Who cares? And I love how they bring back Sin Cara. Hey, this week in Poor Mexico, Sin Cara wrestled, res- rescued two cats from a burning building. Oh, he's back. I'm so excited. Wait, wait, I gotta wait, be honest with you. What? Speaking he of did that, something I, good. I actually, this is out of the script, but this is what I'm what? talking about. This is what bothers me. I'm sorry. What? It's it's lunacy. What? They show him at some kind of like thing where he's like helping people. Right. But he's got his fucking mask on. He's got on. his mask What the fuck is this shit? It's like, come on. Oh my God, Sakaar is here saving the day again. Would you take food from a guy in a mask? No. Hey, eat it's this. Like, oh, well, hey. No. You know? It reminds me. It reminds me when we had that side. Hey, Carlos, man. Dude, with Carlos, Carlos eating a sandwich. Eating a hero with that a mask. You know what? Dude. That was classic. That was you one of the only <laughs> funny things that happened all day. Dude, you that was great. Character for the sandwich. <laughs> no way. No, to his credit, he ate that sandwich like a champion. He's got like his regular name. No, you got to break kayfabe to eat a sandwich, bro. Oh, my God. But I'm sitting there watching. It's all these people. He's getting the mustard on his mask. With his mask on. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? That was hilarious. Come on. <laughs> oh my god! To, like if I was in car, I'd be like to my wife, I'm like, "Can you go out for me to here? here just put the mask hey, put on. The, right. send, the, send Darren next door out. Right. Sin Cara. You Darren, Darren, you wear the Sin Cara mask. Darren, Darren hand up some soup to the children, the... and I'll oh, just I'll stay home. Our truth lost his 24 seven title to the same brother. Oh, it's so dumb. <laughs> you know what? It sucks that he lost it, but my favorite part was just when he rolled up the other twin, and the referee looked at him and goes, "That's not the guy." <laughs> yeah. And the twin who actually has the belt comes over and goes, "Oh, bully, bully, bully." That 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 was so stupid funny. I like stupid funny. He like wiggles and like runs away. That was so stupid. Uh, All the right, Vikings fun, Raid, like Viking Raiders defeated Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins. Yeah, okay, yeah. whatever. Viking Raiders. They, and... You know what? Ryder and Hawkins go to AEW, oh dude. My God. Uh, it's, like, it's over. You're embarrassing it's yourself. Been at this over. Point. Yeah. It's over. Yep. Yep. Sorry. Yep. Came back, says, oh, this I liked. Vas- uh, Vasquez no. brawled no. with Shelton Benjamin. I like the Shelton Benjamin part. Shelton Benjamin was awesome. Bullying around Ray Mysterio. And then Kane comes out. Okay, fine. Fine. But then a legit MMA fighter starts making Shane McMahon's punches look like Rocky Balboa. Those punches that he gave to Shelton Benjamin were like, Nookie, Nookie. Like, Dude, no, 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 no. You're coming in as a UFC guy who really beat Lesnar for real and gave him a scar. You throw punches like that? Who? Oh. No. I, can, I admit, can I admit something? It's all good. This whole picking on Rey Mysterio thing is freaking awesome. <laughs> yeah. It like, is. Well, Shelton Benjamin wanted to beat great. the crap out of his kid, too. I was like, yes. Yeah, no, that, that was what I enjoyed. That was cool. Thank I like you. It. Here, I like it. Here's what I really, this I really loved. What? So Seth Rollins defeats Umberto Carrillo. Oh, right? right. Carrillo, yeah. So <laughs> I really knew nothing about this guy. I like okay. I like. He's kid. in this stupid-ass suit. I know. Like a superhero. Absolutely agree. Yep. But He's good here's what I liked. He... Kind of like good looking kid, definitely yes. teeny bopper kid. Sure, good look. This guy's got heel written all over him. Yeah, see, I told you that yeah. last week. I said, This guy's got they heel gotta make written all over him. That's potential. what the WWE oh. is lacking a, a really, really good heel. Right. And he's nerdy. Yeah, he's that's so a, yeah. nerdy. There's something. And he's already talked about like Seth Rollins. Putting the yes. uh, fire five four yes. house on fire yes. and how wrong it was. I tell you what, though, right? he's got to work on his mic skills. He tripped twice during that short promo. He's got to get better. Yeah. But man, does he have untapped potential? Oh That's boy, the good heel. And his moon salt is a thing of work. And I got to tell you, at I first I'm really like, is. this is the stupidest Beautiful. outfit I ever saw in my life. Keep that shit on. Yes, because. I'll tell you what. Especially I wanted to punch that guy right up. in the fucking face. Absolutely. I was like, I want to punch that's you why in the fucking face. That's heel at yes. some point. I that's agree. That's the heel. Man. Like, I that's agree. a guy I would go to arena for just to spit him. Boo, yeah. I agree. Or and spit then, on him. And by the way, that's if I can get this in, there's a guy in NXT who I hope that they someday pair him up with because the two of them would be the most obnoxious Latino act you've seen in a million years, and that's Garza Jr. over there. 
You know, ooh, you put those two together, ooh, man, oh man. So I see good stuff coming from that kid. Awesome. That was a good match, too. Are we going to close this out? This, we, we discussed this early, Street Profits, right? Uh, yeah. Defeated the OC. Mm-hmm. Uh, digging the Street Profits. Sure. Definitely great mic, mic skills. Excellent. Uh, I certainly, uh, Montez, I totally agree with you. He's got to break, not yet, but eventually he's got to be a singles guy. I'm not sure. I don't I don't know how far either one of them will go without each other. I am oh. Weary on that. Here's worrisome. I want to. I want to close out with this too. Big E, man, they gotta get that guy. Make him a heel. That, is, that will happen. I think that's gonna happen. He's got to turn on Kofi, man. I think He's it's got. To. I think at some point key. it will. He will. He's got to. I think so. Yes. All right. So uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. We had a good time tonight. It was fun. Good conversation. Miller, glad to have you back. Great in the to house. be back, boys. Uh, Mr. Miller. So I uh, want to remind everybody uh, in September 14th, we've got J.J. McGuire in the house. November 14th. November 14th. Thank mm. you. Uh, November 15th, we've got a full slate with Mr. Miller. Uh, we've got who, who we got? Elgin. Road Warrior Animal. Oh, in order? Yep. Road Warrior. And then, then Elgin? Yep. Then who's next? Hillbilly Jim. Okay. And then Buff Bagwell. Oh, nice. My God. We have um, loaded. And J.J. McGuire will also be in house, and then we'll be at the big event that Saturday at the Monty and the Farrell Village Connection table. Nice. J.J. will be there and other Where is that, super by the way, the big event? Right in Queens at the LaGuardia Hotel. All right. So you catch us there. And let's not forget, this Sunday, we start this whirlwind tour with yeah. Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Yep. And then we have uh, Hollywood right. comes in the house. When does Hollywood come in? Oh, my God. November 6th, I think. Well, I can't I, re- I can't. We've got to change the date so the battle was <laughs> oh, like a we? Thursday. It's Tuesday. Oh. She's coming in at 6 okay. o'clock. Nice. All so right. we, are, we, ha- we had that switch. I'm excited to... Uh, to actually sit down with Hollywood. And right? every Tuesday we're also on cable. Yep, every Tuesday, 8.30 to 9 o'clock. Yep. But we're on Channel 115, so if you don't get enough of us here, you can get us again on a repeat out of cable. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that's about it. I want to you know, want to thank everyone. I want to thank Mr. Miller again for producing My another pleasure. incredible show. Thank you, And uh, I want to thank the fans for joining us today. This is Long Island's number one pro wrestling broadcast. Only here at Village Connection Radio, seen Every Thursday from 8.05 to 9 p.m. And every Tuesday on Channel 115 on cable from 8.30 to 9 on the compacted episode of Monty and Afaro. We'll see you this Sunday at 10 a.m. with Hall of Fame Brutus and Barbara Beefcake. I am Mike Monty. That's Steve Miller. And this is... The Faro. We'll catch you next week. Later.